Hello everyone, it's Tank, and today we're going to be doing something a, a bit different, so bear with me if you will. What's going on everybody, it's Tank, and today on the 4th of September 2015, this hit, this hit's a kind of close home, but I'm going to be, uh, dedicating this episode to, um, all our fallen heroes, um, that have most recently have passed and have gone before them, uh, and to all the, uh, men in service, uh, hey, men and women, um, of our law enforcement communities she across the, the nation. Um. This, this, this is kind of difficult, like I said, this is kind of difficult to do, kind of hits close to home for me, but, um, first off, let me say that, uh, here recently, we've had, just within this, this past week, a lot of, a lot of, uh, our law enforcement, um, brothers come to pass, um, some in natural ways, others in very atrocious ways, and I'm not going to go into that in this episode, but I will say that um, we really, if you support the law enforcement community, and if you support what, what what these people do day in and day out, then I I, I encourage you to to come together and, and do something kind for those agencies. You know, leave them a note or or take them a gift basket or just tell an officer one day, hey man, you're doing a great job. You know, a lot of people don't understand or don't under, don't, don't, don't see what half these people go through on the daily, um, and the types of calls that they respond to and everything else. And, and a lot of it is, is a lot of uh, mental and physical stress on the body. And these people come to work every day and put on the badge, and put on a uniform, and put on a gun belt, and go into work ready to save more lives. And you know that's that's a big sacrifice to, to put yourself before someone else, and that's what these people do every day. But um, I wanted to read off the the list, of, the end of watch list, of, the end of watch list for this past week. To, and, and like I said, I'm going to dedicate this to to, to, to to these law enforcement officials and, and their families and their agencies, and like I said, across the nation. Um, the first one's going to be James James Baba. And forgive me if I'm saying these incorrectly, but James Baba from Missouri State on the 20th of August. Uh, Michigan Trooper Chad Wolf on the 28th of August. Henry Nelson on the 28th, oh, I'm sorry, on the 26th of August from Sunset, Louisiana, from Sunset PD. Harris County Deputy Darren Goforth, better watch, 28th of August, 15th. And the most recent one, Fox Lake uh, Police Department Lieutenant Charles Joseph Glenwiz, or Glenwiz, to try to do something nice for your communities. If you support this, if you don't, if you, you know, you just... If you're just watching my videos just because you like the stuff that I do, then you know what I respect you even more for that. But you know, I myself, in my opinions, what I do in my life and the jobs that I do, um, you know, are completely opposite of that. And you know, I respect you from you know everybody has their own opinion. But uh, you know, here on this channel, we're gonna dedicate, we're gonna honor those those fallen heroes, and we're gonna do what we can today. So today we're we're um, we're gonna do things completely different. Um, everything's gonna be uh, role play is is, is um, as much as possible, um, just for the sake of, of the dedication of the video, and um, that's pretty much it. So we'll see you guys at the first call. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, we'll see you guys out on the road. We're gonna be out with this Delante here. Um, they're gonna be um, stop for impeding traffic. Um, Going up the highway at 19 miles an hour is not very ideal for um, very, very uh, heavy traffic with a lot of speed. So we're gonna get out Attention with that real units. quick Citizens and report uh, a person with a firearm on um, Great Ocean Highway. Units respond code three. Gonna run up 
play check. Hello, ma'am. Uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol. I pulled you over because you're repeating traffic back there doing 19 miles an hour. Oh, Lord, so, uh, not very ideal. Uh, speed limit is 55. Do you have your driver's yeah. license on you? Alright, Alicia, hang on a second, I'll be right back with you. Now we'll go ahead and run the records check for Alicia White. It's got a valid license, no active warrants, born on uh, 12-29-88, so we're going to we'll go ahead and uh, cut her a citation real quick. Alright, Alicia, not a big deal, so we're going to give you a citation for $50. Can't be uh, driving that slow in traffic, you have to drive the speed limit. Anything over or under is, is a huge violation, I'm not a huge violation, but it's also a safety issue as well. You're going 19 miles an hour, somebody doing 55. You know, not really paying attention could slam into people, cause accidents, so. Alright, kind of ran on a little along there, but, uh, alright. So we'll go back 10-8 and see what else we can find. So try to keep this as, uh, role play as much as possible. I know this game sometimes does, you know, have tendencies to do crazy things. So we'll try to react to those as professionally as possible in this one. Um, but like I said, this is this is just a dedication for and you know, all the fallen heroes lately. Attention all units, well. terrorist activity on a uh, Great Ocean Highway. Multiple officers down. Shots all right, so we're taking uh, uh, the terrorist activity report to figure out what's going on. Looks like I've already got. I've already got a. Uh, Roger that. We're on our way. Person in the middle of the roadway right now, so I'm going to see if I can stop traffic. Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, she's firing. I got a female firing right now. I'm going to go ahead and take the shot. Target left being heavy. Southbound on uh, Great Ocean Highway. All right, looks like she's down right now. We're gonna go up and clear it real quick. I need more ammo. All right, she's gonna be down right now, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a corner out for her real quick. Maybe if you people drove on the left. All right, so the corner got back down with there, so uh, we'll go ahead and clear and go back 10-8 right now and see what else uh, we can find. We'll go ahead and look for some traffic and see what's going on there. And then, uh... We'll go ahead and, uh, see if we can find some traffic here. Um, going down uh, near the military base, you do get a lot of speeders down here as well, so... We'll see what we got. Radar on here. Baltic's doing 76. Speed limit 65, so we'll go ahead and stop them. Get out with him real quick. Okay, is he taking off running? What the fuck? Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get him pulled over. Uh, looks like this is gonna be it right here. What in the world? Oh, somebody's shooting at me! What are you doing, lady? Units. Backup all right. required. Shots fired on, um, on officers right now. Roger, dispatch. We are en route. She's lighting me up right now, so I'm gonna. I'm, I need some help out right now. 
Dispatch to all SWAT unit backup needed on a uh, Great Ocean Highway. Respond code 3. This is David Charles, 12, copy. Alright, not sure why she opened fire, but we returned fire. Looks like she's down right now, so... I'm gonna go mm. ahead and go check her real quick. While I got help coming. Yep, she's down. Go ahead and recover the weapon real quick. Don't know why she started firing at me. But, um, we're gonna get this scene cleared up real quick and we'll get back with you guys. We're actually probably going to be running a traffic stop on this vehicle up here. This one will rubble. Um, they're failing to maintain a correct lane and are weaving in and out of traffic. So we're going to get out with them and figure out what's going on. See if I can get them stopped on the side of the road somewhere. I'm trying to get them stopped somewhere where traffic can still flow. Looks like that's gonna be it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and halt traffic real quick. Get out with him and figure out what's going on. I need to clean my clothes. Hi, it's going, man. I pulled you over because you were feeling maintaining your lane back there. Um, Hi. So, trafficable offense. Yeah. You have your ID on you? Cool. Alright, hang on, Gordon. I'll be right back with you. While I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and run a plate check. And then, right now, we'll go ahead and do a checker, a records check for Gordon Darling. Well, all right, he comes back with the expired license, so we're gonna go ahead. You and Unit reporting, uh, possible 148. Is he gonna take? Zancudo. Get out of the car, man. Get out. Whoa. You're gonna be uncompliant. That's fine. Fuck? Turn around, put your hands behind your back Who right cares? now. Hands behind your back. So we're gonna go ahead and um. Hold it right there, dumbass. Go ahead and uh, arrest him for expired license. Uh, driving while license is expired. Um, he decided to want to try to take off with us, so we're going to go ahead and get a prisoner transport out for him. Assistance needed I'm going to go ahead and search um, him real quick. Great Ocean Highway, respond code 2. Copy that. We're going to go ahead and search the vehicle and see if we can find anything else. Alright, so he's got nothing on him. We're going to go ahead and search the vehicle real quick. <laughs> Did not mean to do that either. Nothing of interest in the in the uh, door here. Still did, still didn't mean to do that. Sorry. All right, so I've got the uh, expensive amount of bags of money right now. So we will uh, we'll see what's going on here. Uh, we'll get him down at the station and question him and. See what he's got this money for. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and call a tow truck and uh, get them out. And we'll uh, be back 10:8 shortly. All right, so we're uh, back out on the road now. We're gonna go and um, see if we can uh, pull some uh, traffic on Route 66. Report an assault on a civilian in Tongva Hill. Alright, so there's an assault on a civilian up here, so we're gonna go code 3 due to the uh, distance. Is it? Okay, it looks like it's gonna be closer this way. So we'll go ahead and head this way. Set a marker out to it so I don't get lost. So we'll be en route to this fight in progress. I'll get to all units. some units out assistance for assistance. On route 68 uh, and Tongva Hill. 
figure out what is going on with the fight. We're going that way. Yeah, they're going at it. Looks like a male and a female. Oh, get your hands up, man. Get them up now. Get your hands up. Get your hands up now. Or you will get tased. Stop. Get your hands up. Hands up. Get on your knees right now. All right, I got both complying right now. I'm going to get them both on the ground. Get on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and hook the guy up first. Uh, looks like mutual combat right now as I rolled up on the scene. So... You're making me do I'm going to go ahead and handcuff her real quick. I can downgrade the cover. I'm going to go ahead and call... Prisoner transports for these guys real quick. I'll go ahead and... Uh, Make sure these guys don't have anything on them. Peace, dude. Hey. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got nothing on this guy. Um, I'm not going to search Miss Carter because she is a female. So. Backup needed. In We're going to transfer it out for uh, Mr. Brock. Mr. Brock over here. here. Ironic name. <laughs> Um, post comment if you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, we'll, we'll let them clear up real quick. And then, uh, we'll get back, uh, 10-8. Copy that. In the back! Watch your hand! Reporting a possible 502 in right, so Dispatch Units just put us up with an impaired driver as we're clearing up with this flight, and it looks like they're right down the road right now. Um, unknown, uh, looks like this is gonna be it right here. Looks like uh, some back end damage. And some front end damage as well. Failing to maintain the lane right now as well. And tailgating. Okay, he just struck that vehicle, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull him over. Let's see if I can get him to pull over a little closer to the side of the road right now. Just for safety issues. There we go. Should be good enough right now, so we'll get out with him. I'll go ahead and start a plate check on the vehicle. Plate check going right now. I'll uh, finish that up and then I'll come up and contact this guy. And or female. Looks like a female. Alright. Hello ma'am, how you doing? Um, got a 
four, two, John, Henry, Robert, four, nine, eight, no, ten, ninety-nine. Back to Julia Woods, three citations. Uh, pulled you over, failing to maintain lane. You're also striking that vehicle back there, um, and you've got an extensive amount of damage, which renders a vehicle unworthy on the road. Um, do you have a license proof insurance yeah. on you? Yeah. yeah. This should come back to a Julia Woods. Yep. All right, hang on. I'll just be right back, and then we'll go ahead and do a records check for Julia Woods. Um, they were advising three citations. He's got a valid license, not the warrants right now. Attention all units. Okay, we she just took a off. Criminal resisting arrest. Shift L, shift L, shift L, shift L, shift L, get in the car. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call assistance right now. She took off running, so I'm pretty sure she's definitely impaired beyond the limit. Okay, it looks like she just wrecked out. She just she just wrecked out off the cliff. So I'm gonna see if I can get down there. Where is she at right now? Okay, here she is. Let me see if I can get up here with her. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. This is David Charles, 12. Copy. Get your hands up. Copy that. We're in the vicinity. Get your hands up right now. Get out of the car right now. You idiot. She's rolling down the hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> Julie, get your hands up right now. Okay, you don't have to tase her so much, dude. She's fine. Let her get up. Get your hands. Jesus Christ. Alright, so we've got her 95 right now. Got her covered up real quick. They're going to go ahead and detain her. Are you going to detain her? There you go. All right, so that's going to be code four with 10-8 off of that. All right, guys, so it looks like we're good here. I'll go ahead and get a tow truck for the vehicle. Um, and then... Uh, what did you think was going to happen? Clear the scene up real quick. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I appreciate y'all joining me today for this uh, this episode. Um, if you are if you enjoyed the episode and like to share it with your friends, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, like I said again, you know, this is in dedication to our recent fallen heroes and the ones gone before them. And to all the uh, law enforcement communities across the, you know, the U.S. Um, without them, we would have no peace without them we would have only chaos and because of the peacemakers we are here and we can live civilly though sometimes you know we have the people that like to do harm to people but this is why the peacemakers are here and this is why they do what they do and what that them like I said would have no peace only chaos so to you if you watch this uh, if you're law enforcement work in law enforcement or you're with the law enforcement agency to you I say thank you um, and I hope that, that your days are, are, are filled with uh, peace and I hope that uh, you get to go home to your family at the end of the night and I thank you for making that ultimate sacrifice um, so thank you guys for watching um, like I said, if you enjoy the content, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, and go ahead and share this episode as well. Uh, again, my name is Tank, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.